Hello fellow YouTubers, Stephen Williams here. I want to show a project I'm working on uh, that some of you might be interested in. I've been interested in, in alternative building methods for years and uh, looked at Adobe and uh, Aircrete that I've done a lot of uh, experimenting with. <clears throat> but I'm really in, uh, looking to build a house and a workshop out of stabilized compressed earth brick. So I bought a uh, manual machine that makes two brick at a pot from China. Uh, it was $850 plus uh, six molds came up to $1,250. Bought it on Alibaba and uh, 50 days later got it. What was interesting was the shipping, all the other charges, agency fees, port fees, you name it, <clears throat> plus 27% tariffs and uh, ran about $1,200, doubled the price of the thing to get it here, which I knew was going to happen, but it was just amazing to see it unfold. So, about $2,400. I would have bought this machine here, but I couldn't find anybody that actually uh, holds it. I planned to convert it to hydraulics. They had a hydraulic machine you could buy, and quite frankly, I would recommend buying the hydraulic machine. Uh, it's a fair amount of work to convert it, but I wanted to show you um, how I'm doing this conversion. I've got it on its side right here, so the chamber is up at the top for the two brick. I'll move the cam around here in a minute. It moves up and down over here for the compression. I have stripped everything off of it that I don't need. Uh, it had an extended uh, bottom over here and a big long lever, all the components. Over here that I've cut off, this is the top piece that came off for uh, getting the leverage. Here's the handle that came off of it. Side pieces and uh, several more items that came off from the top. So the first thing I needed to do was to build a platform to raise it up because I need a big old cylinder. This is going to be the cylinder I'm going to use. This is a 4 inch by 8 inch stroke. In um, talking with the folks in uh, China, I figured out what size cylinders and pumps that I need. Uh, I've gotten a Baldor 5 horsepower single phase motor. Uh, you can't use an air compressor one with a 7 8 inch uh, diameter shaft. They're just not strong enough for the hydraulics. So I had to do a general purpose. That was about $479, most expensive part. I'm going with a log splitter pump. It's an 8 gallon per minute two stage. So at lower pressures it'll push fast and uh, at higher pressures it goes real slow but can really crank out the, uh, the tonnage on the force that you need for this thing. <clears throat> you need about 15 tons to compress this thing. Uh, when I first got it I experimented with trying to make some brick and uh, I started with a real dry mix to begin with. It's very hard to compress when you have a dry mix. And it took everything I had to compress it. And then I couldn't get it out of the mold. It would not eject the brick from the mold. So I had to dig the thing out. It was a mess. I uh, tried it again with a little um, uh, less. I didn't fill the mold completely up. I was able to pop the brick out, but they crumbled because they weren't compressed enough. I tried uh, adding more moisture, and it's amazing how much moisture will impact the compressibility of the brick. And uh, very easy to compress, popped it out, but the brick were too soft and would crumble before you could even stack them. So uh, I'm getting good brick, I just can't. Uh, eject them out of it. It's going to take hydraulics to ultimately do it. So this is going to run me about $1,200 to do the, the conversion and that's saving still about $1,000 from what it would cost if I bought it from China. Uh, it's been a fun project but I've built this uh, very sturdy base out of 2x2 two 2 3 16 inch steel. I put a 3 8 inch plate on the bottom over here for the hydraulic cylinder because this is where all the pressure is going to be. I may even do some 45s in here to brace it even more. Um, <clears throat> and then I will, uh, the next part is going to be to have, have my arms that will lock it in place 
to be able to uh, open and close this thing. I'll uh, show some more videos here as we go. Let me get a little closer shot of some of this. <clears throat> so you can see the stand. I had to raise it about uh, 9 inches because uh, this cylinder right over here is 17 inches retracted and so I did not have enough room so we had to uh, expand it and in looking at the China models over here it is a good bit higher as well same scenario because they need to do it uh, you can see the chamber over here I've got all the guts out of it um, right here I've got all the plates I'll show you that here in a minute I've taken all the other hopper and the and, and the tray that's the hopper right there that's the tray that slides it fills the mold and these are all the components that I have um, taken off of the machine uh, and I'll use some of the steel in other areas over here and salvage it. This is the uh, molds over here. You can see they have holes in the middle. They're like two and three eighths uh, shafts over here that go through the center of them. I would have made this thing from scratch, but these are made out of stainless steel. I don't have a machine, milling machine, to actually make these components. The actual chamber is what is so difficult to make. But uh, anyway, I will give you an update here further as I move along.